Bad board wouldn't spark. New board put in, the Venter motor wouldn't run. What's up guys, Gary McCready, host of the HVAC Know It All podcast. That clip that you just saw was closer to the end of the video. You're gonna have to hang out with me to find out why that brand new board didn't work when I first put it in. This video is brought to you by Harago.com, a trades-only platform helping you find the right job or the right candidate. Harago.com, best in trade. So during maintenance, I fired this thing up and the Vetter motor started to run, but we didn't get a spark down here. The gas valve was opening because I could smell the gas. You could hear click and you could smell the gas coming out of the vent. So we need a new board, right? So here's the old board here, took it out put the new board in. What's happening now is that the relay, so we have our power in and then the power out to the motor. This relay here is not closing on a call for heat. The LED is fast flashing, telling me that it's receiving the call, but this motor here is not coming on. What happens is when we pull this, we are opening up the safeties back to the board. The motor comes on in that case. When we jump out, these two terminals on a call for heat, the motor comes on. So I got a new board, I got another one, I'm gonna try it. If that doesn't work, we have some other issues, I think. So we're gonna try this new board. We're gonna, I'm gonna hope this new one here is actually faulty on arrival. And I'm gonna try the new board and hopefully it works when we put it in. So I am gonna change the rollout switch too. Just because in the past I've had a lot of problems with rollout switches causing, uh, causing some issues and this one seems a bit corroded, okay? So I'm gonna change it before I put the new board back in. And it's funny too, because look at the box <laughs> that it comes in. It's massive. Anyway, let's get this rollout switch changed and go from there. Okay, I got the rollout changed and I did pinch the terminals down with my linesman to get that nice tight connection. But what I would say is we should probably change these connections out. Once I test everything, I'll do that, but I'm a few hundred feet away from my truck right now and I don't have any on me. So for now, I mean, these are nice and tight. This should be okay, but I would change those out just because of the, the moisture damage it looks like it has on, on them. Okay, so the new board is in, and if you guys wanna take your troubleshooting to the next level, here's a step that you can do. I didn't connect any power to the board. Okay, the, these are the blower motor wires, but the, the, the input for the, the blower and for the motor here for combustion, that input has been taken out, okay? And I have my meter hooked up to the two terminals that's supposed to close on a call for heating. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna test that. So watch what happens when I jump out W1 and R. Now that relay, that relay is normally open, right? So we wanna see a close when we jump it out. So there we go open and close. So that relay is working. So let's go to the next step and hook the power up and see if the machine runs. The old board, the new board, and the new new board. Now it's all working. Motor's running. Burner's fired. I don't know if you, there you go. So we have a warranty situation. Brand new board failed on arrival, but we're all good now. All right, we have a development here. So this ran for five minutes just fine and then all of a sudden stopped, it stopped running. So what happens when you jump out the heating is this. We have the fast flash, okay? Nothing else is going on. The, the blower motor's running because I can feel the air coming out from here. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna show you what happens when I pull this out and jump it out. So that's pulled out, and what we're gonna do is we're going to attach our jumpers to R and W here. And you can hear it clicking once I have a solid connection in there. So there goes the motor. 
when I bypass this terminal. There we go, it's, it's, it's running in heat. So we gotta figure out what is going on here. So just an update guys, that short and that wiring, we came back actually physically today, right now, in the morning, we changed that wire. That wire was changed and everything ran fine afterwards. We tested it straight down at the controller, jumped it from there all the way up to the rooftop and everything ran. The, the cooling ran, we have a problem with the economizer. The cooling ran, the heating ran, the fan ran, not a problem. If you guys are interested in more troubleshooting videos, check out the end screen here because it's an intermittent trip on a York RTU unit that I had problems with for about six or eight months or so. Over the course of a year, it tripped twice. The third time I had enough, pulled up my Mega. You need to watch this video, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Happy HVACing.